What's up guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. A few weeks ago I made a mini rink, it was eight feet wide by eight feet wide, and today I'm gonna lace up the skates and I'm gonna do a few drills on it. So you might be wondering, why the heck would you skate on a rink that's eight feet by eight feet? You can't even do a forward stride. Well, that's kind of the whole point. There's a saying that goes something like, uh, necessity is the mother of all creation. So by only having an eight foot by eight foot rink, it's gonna force me to be really creative with my drills. Why would you guys watch this? Well, I'm sure you could find other ways to use these drills. Maybe it's a small spot of the ice at public skating, or maybe it's just really good edge work and lateral movement that you use when you're in close with the puck or trying to evade a defender. So enough talk, let's lace the skates up and test this out. So for the record, this is the first time that I laced them up. I'm just gonna be freestyling these drills and pass them on. So I'm just gonna go for a quick little skate, see what it feels like, and then I'll see if I can come up with some drills for you guys. Definitely not doing any acceleration or forward stride drills here, but definitely a lot of uh, footwork, transitions, edge work, stuff like that. So let's get to some of those drills. This first drill, we're just gonna work on getting comfortable on our edges. So holding an inside edge, one leg balance. So we're gonna start with a push on the left leg, hold an inside edge on the right leg. Now do a push on the right leg, hold the inside edge on the left leg. Next we'll do crossovers, so crossovers but hold the outside edge as long as you can before taking your next step. Let's go to the left leg, push with the right, hold the left. Push with the right, hold the left. The beginner is a simple drill I learned from Max Ivanov, just to get in that hockey stance, so knees bent, head up, chest up. And then we're starting on both edges. We're gonna step out to your inside edges and then come back into your outside edges. So inside, outside, inside, outside. And that's just to get used to getting on those different parts of your blade. From there, we can do some simple crossovers. So we're just stepping over, sliding, stepping over, stop. Step over, one foot stop, step over, one foot stop. From there, we can do some transitions. So I'm gonna start with the backwards crossover, then I'm gonna open up. I'm going to do a turn and then a transition from forwards to backwards. So I'll do it slow, backwards cross over here, open up, turning, switch. Backwards cross over, open up, turn, switch. Backwards cross over, open up, turn, switch. And of course we can do that in both directions. Here on the open up, you got both inside edges. Now you're going to switch this leg to your outside edge, inside edge. And here, so you're going from the outside edge of the skate, inside edge of the skate, and then when you switch, you're switching your edges, right? So now it's the outside edge of the skate and the inside edge of the skate. So you can do that backwards crossover. Now we're gonna work on stopping on all edges. So first the inside edge of the right leg, inside edge of the left leg, and then outside edge of the right leg, outside edge of the left leg. So all we need is a push and a stop. Notice how I start with my toes pointed down ice, and then I switch and then stop and scrape that ice. What we're working on there is a little bit of weight distribution, so I'm moving the weight a little bit to the balls of my feet so I can rotate and then plant that ice and scrape it. Let's do it on the left foot. Okay, now the tough part is we're gonna get on that outside edge, so the outside edge of the right leg. Same thing, and on the left leg as well, push with the right leg, glide with the left leg, and then switch so you get on the outside edge. This drill really helps anyone struggling with the hockey stops or crossovers or tight turns because it allows you to find the weight to put on that inside edge to maintain your balance. And then you can do other things with this leg. You can use this for that jab turn when you dig it on the outside edge. It'll be a nice quick turn, almost like a stop and a turn in the same motion. Okay, those are just a few drills you can do with only eight feet by eight feet of ice. Uh, my stick kind of gets in the way here because I have these big snow banks. So I'm gonna get rid of it and then just skate for a few minutes and then I'll call it a day. That's fun. Okay, one more drill is continuous mohawk. You get in this heel to heel position, you're on your inside edges, you're leaning in a little bit, you have to have this knee bend so you can get lower, and you're just pumping with each foot to keep that continuous mohawk going. And switch directions.
That should give you some ideas of skating drills you can do in a small space, but be creative because there are so many more that you can come up with. Don't give up because you don't have some massive spot to skate. Just get out there and test yourself and you will get better. Uh, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to do some stick handling drills you can do in small areas and I make new hockey videos every single week. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cut. Roll credits.